Hello, little learners. Welcome back to Fun Learning Time. I'm so happy to see your bright and curious faces today. Are you ready to learn something super cool? Yes? Well then, let's go! Today, we're going to learn something very important. It helps us know when to wake up, when to play, when to eat, and even when to sleep. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, that's right. We're going to learn how to tell the time. But before we start reading the clock, let's first learn the parts of the clock. Look at this clock. Isn't it neat? Let's break it down. This long stick is called the minute hand. Can you say that? Minute hand. Great job! This short stick is the hour hand. Say it with me. Hour hand. And sometimes there's a skinny fast one called the second hand. It goes tick, tick, tick. Around the clock, we have numbers from 1 to 12. These help us tell the hours of the day. And the clock is a big circle. We call that face of the clock. You're doing amazing. Now, here's a super fun trick to help us tell the time like pros. The hour hand tells us what hour it is. The minute hand tells us how many minutes have passed. But here's the magic part. When we read the minutes, we count by fives. Let's try it together. Ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So, if the minute hand is pointing to the number 1, that means 5 minutes. If it points to number 2, that's 10 minutes, and so on. Every number on the clock means 5 more minutes. Isn't that cool? Now, you're on your way to being a time-telling genius. Let's take a look at the examples. First, look at the hour hand. That's the short hand. It's pointing just before the 9. Why is that? That's because it's still in the 8 o'clock hour, but it's getting close to 9. When the minute hand moves around, the hour hand moves a little too, even if it's not at the next hour yet. So we still say 8. Now, let's look at the minute hand. That's the long one. It's pointing to the number 10 on the clock. Remember our special trick? We count by fives for minutes. Let's count together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That's right. 10 on the clock means 50 minutes. So when the hour hand is almost at 9 and the minute hand is on the 10, it means it's 8.50. That's 10 minutes before 9 o'clock. Great job! You just read the real clock time. Give yourself a big round of applause. Now let's look at a time that's nice and easy. 10 o'clock. Look at the clock. The hour hand, the short one, is pointing right at the 10. The minute hand, the long one, is pointing straight up at the 12. When the minute hand is on the 12, that means 0 minutes. So, the time is exactly 10 o'clock. No more, no less. 
let's look at another time. It's 2.30. First, check the hour hand, the short one. It's halfway between the 2 and the 3. That's because we're halfway through the 2 o'clock hour. Now, look at the minute hand, the long one. It's pointing right at the 6. And remember, we count by 5s for minutes. Let's count together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's right. 6 means 30 minutes. So when the hour hand is between 2 and 3, and the minute hand is on the 6, the time is 2.30. You're getting so good at this. Wow, you learned so much today. You now know the parts of the clock. How to count minutes by fives. You're amazing. Next time, we'll practice reading actual times on the clock. Bye-bye, time-telling superstars. See you next time.